It is nearly three months to the day that JD McDonough ambushed Wesley in a post-match attack and put him on the shelf. This was in pursuit of the Irish Devils' pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship, which he inevitably captured the gold. But Wesley has came back in recent weeks with revenge on his mind. JD McDonough may have got what he wanted, the Cruiserweight Championship, but he put a target on his back in the process. Tonight here on SmackDown, Wesley seeks not only the retribution, but also to obtain the Cruiserweight Championship. These two gentlemen take center stage in tonight's main event when JD McDonough defends the Cruiserweight Championship of the world against Wesley. We are live tonight from the Humphrey Coliseum in Mississippi State here on Friday Night SmackDown. And we are just 24 hours away from our trip to New Orleans at the King of the Ring. And the man on the far left is 24 hours away from defending his World Heavyweight Championship. But right here tonight, Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium kicks things off in singles action. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Tomorrow night in Smoothie King Center, the ring general Duther locks horns with the almighty Bobby Lashley. A rematch 16 months in the making. Later this evening, we're going to take a look at the history between these two gentlemen. But all roads lead to tomorrow night when Duther defends his World Heavyweight Championship that he has held since November the 19th of last year. The King of the Ring is live tomorrow night, Saturday, June 15th. We're going to be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from Smoothie King Center in New Orleans, Louisiana. The SmackDown main event sees the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Guther and Bobby Lashley no strangers to each other. A common goal in holding the gold that is around the waist of the ring general brings them back together tomorrow night. We kick things off here on SmackDown with one third of Imperium, that being Ludwig Kaiser, set for one-on-one -on -one action. And you gotta believe he is looking to build momentum towards the Imperium locker room. And opposing him tonight, one half of the Street Profits, it's gonna be Montez Ford. The Street Profits have been on SmackDown since the draft in April, have been really unable to get their feet underneath of them. Maybe tonight is where Ford and Dawkins start down a brand new path, live on Friday Night SmackDown. And his opponent, accompanied by Angelo Dawkins, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, better known as the Street Profits, were really starting to turn some heads over on Monday Night Raw earlier this year. And of course, challenged the Usos during their reign as World Tag Team Champions at Backlash a few months ago. A losing effort, and then of course, they were drafted over to Friday Night SmackDown. And things really haven't gone their way ever since. As we mentioned, really unable to get their feet underneath of them so far. But tonight, Dawkins and Ford walking back down the aisle. And the weight is on the shoulders of Montez Ford tonight to get the Street Profits back on the right path. Anything can happen on any given Friday here on SmackDown. Lights are on bright tonight. Certainly with the King of the Ring looming in just 24 hours, you gotta believe tensions are high in the locker room. And with the Cruiserweight Championship on the line in the main event, certainly a lot of eyes on the blue brand this evening. Well, here we go. The World Heavyweight Champion Gunther at ringside as he mentally prepares for the almighty Bobby Lashley tomorrow night. Looks on as Ludwig Kaiser represents Imperium in this singles contest against Montez Ford. And I would say the most interesting thing here is, of course, this singles action stemming out of two significant tag teams on the SmackDown roster. Of course, it was last week in Mexico City, the WWE Tag Team Championship on the line in the main event. Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar taking down Austin Theory and Grayson Waller to become the new WWE Tag Team Champions. 
New champions at the helm of the tag team division. You got to believe all the other teams throughout the division are looking to stake their claim as their first contenders. With Big Kaiser Amantes for the first chance, first crack, if you will, to make some noise in the tag team division on their very own behalf tonight. I'll tell you what, these two men, two incredible talents in their own rights, obviously great in tag team action as well. Both men have the chance to break out as single stars one day here on SmackDown, but that is not what is on the minds tonight for Ludwig Kaiser. Keeping Imperium's momentum at a high, you gotta believe is first and foremost. Of course, the World Heavyweight Champion Guther. Heading into his championship matchup tomorrow night with the almighty Bobby Lashley. You look at Giovanni Vinci and Kaiser as well. They're coming off a pair of singles victories. Dating back to the back half of May and earlier this June over Axiom and Nathan Frazier across SmackDown and Velocity. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins certainly not have had the same luck. As we mentioned a moment ago, Montez Ford with the pressure on his shoulders tonight to deliver against Ludwig Kaiser. So far, so good. This matchup has been very 50-50. Wait a minute here. Well, this is where Imperium's gonna have a little bit of the numbers. Giovanni Vinci and Gunther trying to take Ford's eye off the ball, and Kaiser taking advantage. Angelo Dawkins may be in the corner of Montez tonight, but still, outnumbered are the Street Profits. But Montez Ford not staying down for long. Springs off the ropes in a beautiful Tornado DDT. They are live tonight from a sold out Humphrey Coliseum at Mississippi State. And all eyes are on the action inside the squared circle just 24 hours before our trip to New Orleans, Louisiana. Charles Robinson trying to fix up the corner there that was exposed by Giovanni Vinci a few moments ago. Meanwhile, Ludwig Kaiser getting caught by Montez Ford. Kaiser on spaghetti legs at ringside, but I don't think it's gonna be a good idea for Montez Ford to follow him to the outskirts of the squared circle. Kaiser, Vinci, Two very dangerous competitors that have only continued to get better on Friday night's SmackDown. Giovanni Vinci, as we've talked about before, such a multiple tool player inside of that ring. Power, speed, agility all on his side. And you look at Ludwig Kaiser, and there's just something vicious about Ludwig Kaiser. Very take no prisoners attitude between the ropes. And Montez Ford is finding that out firsthand. Triple elbows right to the jawline. This is what we talked about. Kaiser just willing to get his hands in the dirt. Just grinding and beating down on Montez Ford. As you see Gunther in the back corner once again exposing the turnbuckle. And Ludwig Kaiser going to take fullest advantage that time. I don't even know if the referee realized that the turnbuckle pad was exposed. But Montez Ford is certainly feeling worse for wear. Ludwig Kaiser soaking in the pageantry here tonight. May not wait too long there. Don't give Ford any second to breathe. Another springboard, and down goes Kaiser once more. Ludwig Kaiser making his own bed that time. Gave Montez Ford a moment of R&R, &R and he capitalized. Oh, come on now. Charles Robinson with his back turn, thanks to the antics of Imperium, and Montez Ford could have had this one if it wasn't for the numbers. Imperium getting lucky that time. But Montez Ford, credit where credit's due, trying to keep his feet underneath of him. But Ludwig Kaiser looking to stop the momentum dead in his tracks. And the ropes he goes, going for that pun kick. Nobody home. Montez Ford up the reversal. Beautifully done. Right hand right to the jawline. And now Montez Ford is starting to rev up the engines. Ludwig Kaiser getting outsmarted that time. Ford going for the kick. Nobody to be found in a nice takedown by Kaiser. Still to come tonight here on SmackDown. Of course, the Cruiserweight Championship of the World on the line in your main event. JD McDonough set to defend the gold against Wes Slave. What about the Women's World Champion? Going to be in action later on as she teams up with Roxanne Perez against her opponent tomorrow night. The number one contender, Io Sky. Io Sky going to be standing alongside the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And a big tag team matchup later tonight here on SmackDown. Meanwhile, Montez Ford again taking advantage of Kaiser's lackadaisical efforts. 
A moment of R&R &R gives Montez Ford all the energy he needs to get back into this contest again. Now Ford's got to keep his eye on the ball. Looks like Gunther's trying to distract Ford at ringside. Ludwig Kaiser slipping up that time, and Kaiser trying to go low. Montez Ford saw him coming. Ford better be thanking his lucky stars. Kaiser got slipped up on the canvas. Montez Ford not taken out of the driver's seat just yet. Thanks to the numbers game of Imperium. And this is what Ford has got to do to keep this momentum rolling. Now on the outside, Ludwig Kaiser thought he was going to create some distance. Montez Ford closing the gap. Imperium's momentum on the line in this matchup tonight. And as for Montez Ford, just looking to find the Street Profits path here on SmackDown. Now going for another slam down to the canvas. And now Ford going to the top. Could be looking to go from the heavens. A lot of Kaiser gets to the soles of his boots. Montez Ford's gonna have to think about something else and he got caught. Ludwig Kaiser, like it or not, an excellently timed reversal. Oof. Ain't nothing pretty about that. That's the no remorse attitude that Ludwig Kaiser brings. And now once again taking down Montez. I'll tell you what, there's a couple of times in this matchup where it looked like Montez Ford was flipping the switch, but Ludwig Kaiser, whether it's been thanks to the numbers or his own excellently timed maneuvers, finds his way near the end of this contest, but thought that it was gonna be a three count, unfortunately not. Montez Ford still with some life left in him this time. And Kaiser going for the double underhook, down goes Montez Ford on the canvas again. I'll tell you what, Montez Ford may be surviving, but he certainly isn't thriving, looking worse for wear as Kaiser with another takedown. And now Kaiser looking to put the exclamation point on this matchup. Planning Montez Ford and Ludwig Kaiser ensuring that Imperium's momentum stays at an all-time high. Kaiser and Vinci raking up some singles victories over the last number of weeks, all benefiting Guther tomorrow night in New Orleans. Here is your winner, Guther Kaiser. Confidence has got to be at an all-time high with that trio. A big-time victory for Ludwig Kaiser to kick things off here on SmackDown, and all eyes are on the ring general. Guther as he defends the World Heavyweight Championship tomorrow night against the almighty Bobby Lashley. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. We are back live inside Humphrey Coliseum at Mississippi State, and it is time for the return of a former women's world champion. Absent in action since May the 4th, but the queen is back on SmackDown. For the first time since losing her Women's World Championship back on Saturday night, May the 4th, at Battleground, accompanied by Zoe Stark, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, walking down the aisle for in-ring competition. You gotta give credit where credit's due. Shayna Baszler ruling over Friday Night SmackDown with an iron fist, not just with the Women's World Championship, but even this time last year as the WWE Women's Champion. 
Baszler proving that she is at the top of her game. Turned away challenges of Raquel Rodriguez, Bianca Belair, Candice LeRae. The list went on and on. But Shayna Baszler dethroned over a month ago, taking time to heal up some nagging injuries, and now is back inside the squared circle tonight. And you gotta believe Baszler is looking to start at the bottom and work her way back to the top of the SmackDown Women's Division. Indy Hartwell drawing the unlucky straw here tonight, but let's see if she can give Baszler a fight. These two women, no strangers to each other. Shayna Baszler, certainly no strangers to the women at ringside, that being Candice LeRae. Those two women had several of contests dating back to last summer and fall of the WWE Women's Championship that is, of course, now the sole property of Monday Night Raw. Look at Indy Hartwell, beautiful, oh man! Springboard dropkick, impressive as all hell. Might have just knocked Shayna Baszler out for good. Not to be denied, just yet is Baszler. Man, talk about a confidence killer for the Queen of Spades if she returns here tonight and is knocked off by Indy Hartwell. Of course, easier said than done when you're in there with somebody as dangerous and destructive as the Queen of Spades. I am sure Shayna Baszler has all the respect in the world for Raquel Rodriguez for the fight that they had at Battleground last month. But Shayna Baszler, unforgiving inside and outside the ring, and Indy Hartwell is finding that out right now. You saw Zoe Stark momentarily distracting Jessica Carr, giving Shayna Baszler a couple more seconds to try to incapacitate Indy Hartwell on the floor. My goodness! Absolutely unforgiving offense by our returning Queen of Spades. Indy Hartwell may be out. Shayna hustling into the cover. And Indy just at the last second getting her shoulder off the canvas and some rare frustration being shown by Shayna Baszler. Indy Hartwell may just be prolonging the inevitable. Shayna Baszler looking to stomp her lights out to now, and now looking to send a message to the rest of the SmackDown Women's Division. Go behind and Indy Hartwell may be ruining the day she agreed to a matchup with Shayna Baszler. Indy Hartwell obviously looking to make the most of the opportunity, taking all with a SmackDown's best. But might have just got her lungs absolutely collapsed with that knee. And another kick out that time. Indy Hartwell trying her best to survive, but it's now or never to try to get back into this matchup. Oh, wait a minute, Baszler. Play time's over. Karafuda clutch locked in. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Shayna Baszler is back and is absolutely looking as destructive as ever. Thanks for coming, Indy. The Queen of Spades, one step closer to reclaiming her throne on Friday Night SmackDown. Here is your winner, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! A highly anticipated collision awaits just 24 hours from tonight as the Ring General, Gunther, defends the World Heavyweight Championship against the almighty Bobby Lashley. But these two men are no strangers to each other. 16 months ago, February of 2023, to be exact, Gunther met then United States Champion Bobby Lashley on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And it was on this night that Gunther kicked off his first reign as United States Champion. A multiple month reign at that. Defeating Bobby Lashley on that night. Lashley never able to get a rematch as he was drafted to Monday Night Raw just weeks removed. But over the last several of weeks, Gunther and Lashley have been on a collision course to the king of the ring. And last week on SmackDown, a brawl breaking out in the Stadio Azteca, Lashley dropping Gunther with a spear, only to be met by the demons of his past, the apex predator, Randy Orton. 
Well, Lashley's got to deal with that looming issue with the Viper, but he better remain focused on the task at hand because tomorrow night at the King of the Ring, Lashley gets his opportunity against the 30-1 Ring General, Guther Lashley for the World Heavyweight Championship. That is then, and this is now. A lot more action on hand from Humphrey Coliseum here at Mississippi State. And we have a women's tag team matchup looming just 24 hours before the women's world championship is defended in New Orleans. And about to walk down the aisle, the woman who outlasted two rounds of the women's world championship eliminator last week. And her partner from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky! Tegan Knox and Roxanne Perez thrown by the wayside by the genius of the sky. And now Io looks towards tomorrow night where she challenges Raquel Rodriguez in Raquel's first defense of the Women's World Championship. Whether you like Io's attitude or not, nobody can deny her talents and nobody can deny she is a deserving champion after outlasting two rounds of the Eliminator. Raquel Rodriguez knows she's in for a fight. Tomorrow night in New Orleans with her titles on the line. Tonight, the idea has to be sustaining the most momentum you possibly can. Raquel Rodriguez also busy in Mexico City last week as she took on Shotzi in that Mexico City street fight. A big win for Raquel as she has been riding a high over the last several of months. But which woman is going to continue to ride a high here tonight on SmackDown? Well, as Roxanne's making her way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting some breaking news. We got to look towards next week on SmackDown. Just in, the one and only Ricochet set to defend the United States Championship in an open challenge. We're finding that out right here, right now, and that is coming your way next week on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, that's some great action to look forward to in the SmackDown following the King of the Ring. Awesome breaking news here tonight at Mississippi State. Nonetheless, Roxanne Perez got to be feeling a little bit disappointed that she was unable to turn away EO Sky last week in Estadio Azteca. The Prodigy's Day is going to come here on SmackDown. A chance to get back in the winning ways here tonight. And here comes the Women's World Champion. Raquel Rodriguez has taken 2024 by storm. Has won an Elimination Chamber match, has competed for that championship of the grandest stage of them all. And as we've already talked about tonight, defeating Shayna Baszler all the way back on May the 4th at Battleground. Raquel has dealt with a side issue in the ballsy badass Shotzi. I am sure she has finally buried that hatchet last week in Mexico City. But now she looks towards tomorrow night when she defends that Women's World Championship. The thing for Raquel and even Io Sky is I got to make sure their focus is on this tag team matchup here tonight. Cannot be looking too far ahead. Cannot get overzealous towards the championship match in 24 hours. Or remains to be seen where the mindsets and the actions are at of those two women. Right now we kick things off with Roxanne Perez and Asuka back inside the SmackDown Squared Circle where they loomed two weeks ago. Roxanne Perez with a huge upset over the Empress of Tomorrow in the midst of the Women's World Championship Eliminator. Now back inside the ring with the woman who turned her away last week in Mexico City, that being Io Sky. As we mentioned, you may not like Io's attitude, very smug at times. But nobody can deny that she earned her way to number one contendership. Turning away the shiniest wizard, Tegan Knox, turning away Roxanne Perez, and may have just done so again with that elevated DDT. Io Sky, we've talked about it to great lengths. It's really always been on the tail of Raquel Rodriguez over the last year as Raquel has continued to 
grow her star here on Friday Night SmackDown. Io, somebody who is on the cusp of great things. Finally becoming the number one contender once again. Finally getting a shot at the Women's World Championship. Will she be able to make the most of it? We find out tomorrow night in Smoothie King Center. I'll tell you what, it could be a huge confidence killer if Roxanne Perez is able to knock off Io Sky and get a little get, get a little bit of a get back, excuse me, that they're coming up short seven nights ago in Mexico City. Prodigy Roxanne Perez, somebody who has turned some heads over the last few months in the WWE, really here on Friday Night SmackDown. You gotta believe Roxanne Perez, also somebody on the cusp of great things, and she tags in Raquel, and look at that double team action! You'd think it'd be the other way around, but Raquel Rodriguez, not afraid to get her hands dirty, and soar through the skies, maybe looking to show Io Sky, anything you can do, I can at least try to do better. Io Sky wanting none of Raquel here tonight, wants to save that competition for tomorrow at King of the Ring. Here's the Empress of Tomorrow, Oscar here, trying to chop Raquel Rodriguez down this size, and she does so with the double knees. Looking for the quick cover there, Raquel Rodriguez, we have found out firsthand, tough as nails. It's gonna take a lot more to keep down the Women's World Champion. Throughout 2024, Raquel Rodriguez owns singles victories over the EST, Bianca Belair, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, the ballsy badass Shotzi. Tomorrow night may be her toughest test. It's one thing to win the championship, it's a whole other thing to defend it. You know, many say in this business, you're not a true champion until you successfully defend your gold. And that is what Raquel Rodriguez is up against tomorrow night. She finally was able to obtain that championship all the while ago at Battleground last month. And now she approaches her first defense, and it's really where she is going to cut her teeth as the women's world champion. Io Sky out to prove that Raquel Rodriguez could be a transitional champion, a paper one at that. And if Io Sky is able to do what she's doing right now to Raquel tomorrow night, we may see a new women's world champion. Io looking to divide and conquer as she takes Roxanne Perez off the apron. However, Raquel Rodriguez. Back between the ropes, and there's the power game with the champion on display. Raquel obviously with the size and strength advantage. Io with the speed and agility. Which combination of attributes is going to be enough to keep down the other? Not just tonight, but also tomorrow. It's a great chance for Raquel and Io to really get the feeling out process out of the way. They have squared off with each other before, but obviously both women at two different stages in their careers, especially the champion better than she's ever been! Io Sky going for an amusement park ride! And it was almost over that time. Io Sky proving that she is a gutsy performer and that she is going to be a tough task for Raquel in just 24 hours with the titles on the line. Roxanne Perez back into this matchup looking to do a number on the genius of the sky. And for Roxanne Perez tonight, this is a chance to not only get back at EO Sky for the loss last week, but to maybe put herself in championship conversations for whoever leaves King of the Ring as the women's world champion. Also monkey flipped that time, unfortunately not enough to get a three count. That knee by Io Sky, all she needed to create the distance and get back in control. Io Sky's got a chance right here to make Raquel watch, make Raquel realize what she is in for tomorrow. Incapacitate Roxanne Perez. And try to get into the psyche of the champion. Make Raquel feel nervous. I'm sure there's already nerves, there's already butterflies in the stomach of Raquel Rodriguez, the size of eagles, as she approaches her first defense as women's world champion. But Io Sky with a chance tonight to increase the size of those eagles and certainly throw off the game plan of Raquel Rodriguez. Oh man, Io from the top with a super Spanish fly! What were we saying about getting in the psyche? Tag made to the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. 
And these two women from the east working like a well-oiled machine. Roxanne Perez in deep, deep trouble as Asuka with a raging hip attack. And that could be all she wrote for Raquel Rodriguez not allowing this matchup to be over just yet. Roxanne Perez lights may be turned off, but Raquel believing in her tag team partner and also not looking to see a loss 24 hours before she defends the title. Well, I don't think Asuka may be giving them to a choice. Going to beat down Roxanne Perez. Raquel, you see, trying to reach out for the tag. I don't know if Perez knows where she is right now. All the offense by Io and Asuka. Starting to layer on top of each other, and Io Sky looks to be having fun with one of her opposers. There's only so much Raquel Rodriguez can do in this situation. Can't keep getting in and out of the ring. You're risking a disqualification. Io Sky delivering a knee for Roxanne Perez's troubles. Oh no. To the top. Over the moon soul. And Io right in front of the champion, sending a loud and proud message. We could have a new champion tomorrow night. Here are your winners, the team of Asuka and Io Sky. Io forcing Raquel to watch as she puts down Roxanne Perez yet again. Will the genius of the sky be the new champion in 24 hours? We are 24 hours away from our trip to New Orleans, Louisiana. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time as the 2024 King of the Ring commences. The semifinals of the King of the Ring tournament determined last week in Mexico City. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, takes on the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, who will punch their ticket to the finals later that night and meet whoever survives the raw side of the semifinals. The badass, Braun Breaker, set to collide with the Second City Saint, CM Punk for the first time ever. Of course, the crown of the king on the line, and of course, a chance to move on to the SummerSlam main event. A championship opportunity hangs in the balance. These two behemoths from Monday Night Raw, one-on-one -on -one in a bourbon street fight. The Nigerian giant Omos, unsettled with a loss to Brunson Reed last month, Looks to one up Reed. Reed looks for retribution when anything goes. A triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's Championship looms. Rhea Ripley may be stuck between a rock and a hard place. The EST, Bianca Belair, the former champion, Liv Morgan. Has Rhea Ripley made more enemies than she can handle? The championship is on the line in a triple threat. Momentum certainly on the side of the genius of the sky, Io Sky. A victory moments ago in tag team action. But will that momentum ride her to winning the gold? Or will Raquel Rodriguez survive and thrive under the pressure? Monday Night Raw's main event. A WrestleMania rematch three plus months in the making. The visionary, Seth freaking Rollins, challenges the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. The prestigious WWE Championship hangs in the balance as these two superstars wage war. Bobby Lashley needs to ensure that his mind is not on his issues with the Apex Predator Randy Orton and his focus is at the task at hand. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the 30-1 and one Ring General Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, the Mad Dragon Ilya Dragunov, the badass Braun Breaker, and the second city state, CM Punk. As we discussed moments ago, not only is the crown of the king hanging in the balance, but a chance to main event SummerSlam this August for your brand's world championship. Who will be the last man standing? Who will be the king of the ring? It is main event time here in the Humphrey Coliseum live at Mississippi State. 
and the cruiserweight championship of the world takes center stage moments ago we discussed Raquel Rodriguez and her first defense of the women's world championship tomorrow night but tonight the first defense of the cruiserweight championship for the Irish ace the Irish devil JD McDonough a case and scenario of JD McDonough making his own bed and now he's got to sleep in it three months ago he tried to use Wesley as a stepping stone towards his pursuit of the gold he now holds. A victory over Wesley here on Friday Night SmackDown. A post-match beatdown at ringside that sidelined Wesley up until last month. McDonough thought he got away scot-free, taking down Ilya Dragunov at Battleground, winning the Cruiserweight Championship. A short-lived celebration as the SmackDown following, Wesley made his return, making a beeline for the man who now holds the gold. Wesley has picked up victories over Angel Garza over on Velocity on TikTok and Tyler Bate recently here on SmackDown. A deserving challenger with all the right mind to get his retribution on the man who sidelined him three months ago. Dare I say the biggest match of Wesley's career. Championship on the line, main event spotlight. Friday Night Smackdown, 24 hours before we're to the Big Five here in the WWE. And I'll tell you what, that former NXT Tag Team Champion and Wesley, been a part of the main roster, whether it's been looming on Raw or right here on Friday Night Smackdown for almost two years at this point. And Lee, on several of occasions, has chased the Cruiserweight Championship, but never before has he been this close from obtaining the gold. J.D. McDonough better be cautious, because Wesley has been looking in the prime of his career over the last number of weeks. And that might be an overstatement. Wesley may not even be in the prime of his career just yet. But Wesley, regardless of that point, not waiting to hear a bell. Wesley realizing that he would have to sit through the in-ring introductions to establish this Cruiserweight Championship matchup, and he doesn't want to wait anymore. He's been waiting almost three months to get his hands on the Irish Devil from bell to bell. The bell has now sounded, and the championship is underway here in your main event. Wesley, high out of the gate, all is fair in love and war against a man who used a steel chair and a Saido at ringside to put Wesley on the shelf. Talked about Ludwig Kaiser at the top of the hour as somebody who shows no remorse on SmackDown. Never been the M.O. of Wesley, but tonight a completely different story. J.D. McDonough take it to the outside. Wesley feeling froggy in the early moments. A leap over the top rope. J.D. McDonough may be realizing he has bitten off more than he can chew. The well, Humphrey Coliseum coming unglued in the early moments as Wesley is on fire here on SmackDown. And off the top of the missile drop kick. Right to the heart of McDonough. And now going for the pinfall here. And JD McDonough getting the shoulder off. As we mentioned, this is JD McDonough's first defense of the Cruiserweight Championship. Outlasting Ilya Dragunov, slaying the Mad Dragon in the last man standing match last month at Battleground. The interesting thing for JD McDonough is he is coming off a loss a number of weeks ago on SmackDown. Went one on one with the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Cody Rhodes picking up the victory on that night. JD McDonough now returns to action with that loss looming on his mind. Needs to make sure he puts it behind him and focuses on the task at hand. And that being the man who has painted a target the size of Eagles on the back of JD, that being Wesley. Two great cruiserweight talents taking center stage in the main event here on SmackDown. You love to see it for a thriving cruiserweight division. Wesley not loving to see that Springboard Tornado DDT moments ago. Luckily gonna take a lot more to keep down a very motivated and game Wesley here tonight. McDonough trying to outrun Lee. Lee putting on the tracks, J.D. McDonough gets the best of them. And a pair of boots right to the rib cage. 
We talked about J.D. McDonough coming off that loss in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament and how Wesley has picked up victories over the last few weeks on SmackDown. Another interesting note is the last time these two men went one-on-one -on -one, back in the month of March in Philadelphia, right here in the blue brand, it was J.D. McDonough who picked up a victory over Wesley. And it was moments after that J.D. McDonough ambushed Lee at ringside and caused this whole situation. Now McDonough trying to put to bed the issues of the past, a pair of moon salts to retain the Cruiserweight title, not just yet. And imagine if J.D. McDonough's Cruiserweight Championship reign comes to an end here tonight. For months, McDonough was obsessed with winning that title, chasing Ilya Dragunov time and time again until Dragunov finally agreed to another contest. If McDonough comes up short in his very first defense, I don't know how that young man is going to react. Might blow a gasket against Wesley. I'll tell you what, Wesley would no love nothing more than the Stick it to the man who cost him nearly three months of his career. That being the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. Wesley, as we mentioned, been chasing the Cruiserweight Championship on and off for several years here on SmackDown. Tonight, the biggest matchup of his young career. And McDonough's got a dome bigger than almost anybody in the locker room. That's still gonna knock him out, or maybe not. Inside Cradle was trying to make a backhanded compliment. Or I'll be honest, a dig over J.D. McDonough didn't even give me enough time to do it. Wesley, Jesus, into another inside cradle. Man, these two cruiserweights moving a mile a minute. Don't blink, you might miss the action. J.D. McDonough thought he was going to get back in control. Wesley met him in the middle with an opposite inside cradle. Neither one getting a three count, but certainly one step closer to securing victory. Here in the main event on Friday night, SmackDown. Another counter by McDonough that time is Wes Lee being controlled in the corner. This may be J.D. McDonough's best option in this contest. The ace that he needs to pull out. Try to ground Wes Lee, slow him down. Or possibly try to beat him at his own game of high-risk maneuvers. McDonough on top, going for a super Spanish fly. Humphrey Coliseum loving what they're seeing in this main event, but Wesley may have different different thoughts. He's got to be feeling worse for wear, and now McDonough adding salt into the wounds. A submission hold locked in, forcing Wesley to pull all of J.D. McDonough's weight towards the ropes to try to escape. Now Lee able to pop the hands open. Pulls the rug out from underneath the champion. That fast-paced rascal better get it going here. J.D. McDonough is going to pick him apart. Lee into the corner again and goes for the drop kick. Nobody home. Wesley with a beautifully timed reversal and a super kick heard round Mississippi State. Lee going up top. Frog splash. New champion on the horizon. Not just yet. McDonough still in this Cruiserweight Championship matchup. Man, I thought that was it. Great timed reversal that time by Wesley, delivering the frog splash. Unfortunately, a three count. Nowhere to be found just yet. The cardiac kid looking to win some championship gold here on Friday Night SmackDown. And he may be one step closer here. Could have been going for that destroyer that he loves to implore. McDonald with a sunset flip. And these two superstars have done their homework on each other's arsenal. Almost getting Wesley. Almost getting J.D. McDonough caught, but again, another close call. McDonough set of the ropes. J.D. McDonough has got to try to find a way to ground Wesley in this matchup. I truly believe that's going to be his best case scenario at retaining the Cruiserweight Championship. Right now, he's just trying to find a way back into this contest. Wesley, everything McDonough tries to throw at him, Wesley is right there. Lots of reversals over the last few minutes. Wesley's been daydreaming about this contest for several months here on SmackDown and is not looking to give J.D. McDonough a satisfying retention of his Cruiserweight title. 
This is what McDonough's got to do. Take the crowd out of it. Kill the confidence of Wesley. Ground him on the canvas. Incapacitate him. J.D. McDonough needs to tap into those devilish instincts. The ground and pound. Pick apart his opponent. That is going to be his best case scenario of retaining the title. Can't take anything away from the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough. If he can slay the Dragon and Ilya Dragunov in that last man standing matchup, which was a brutal fight all the way back in Battleground last month, who's to say he can't beat Wesley? With how much Wesley has done his homework clearly coming into this matchup, who's to say he can't beat J.D. McDonough and win the Cruiserweight title? McDonough again, relying on that springboard maneuver. And you can't knock him. If it works, go back to it. Wesley getting the shoulder up. Donna being very reliant on that springboard DDT when he needs a quick maneuver to get back into this matchup. Not allowing Wesley to gain any kind of momentum. Wesley thought he had a window of opportunity there, but J.D. McDonough once again silencing everybody here at Humphrey Coliseum, trying to retain his cruiserweight title. The cardiac kid starting to come alive here. J.D. McDonough knocked down momentarily. Wesley obviously with other plans as he takes McDonough into the ropes. And imagine what a comeback it would be for Wesley after he is put on the shelf by J.D. McDonough to return to Friday Night Smackdown last month. Rake up victories over Angel Garza, as well as Tyler Bate, and then ride that momentum into winning the title against J.D. McDonough himself. And he could be one step closer to doing so. McDonough may be seeing stars, a kick right to that giant sized dome, but nonetheless, McDonough is rocked. I got the dig in that time. McDonough hoisted to the top rope. Not where he wants to be. Wesley's wheels are a-spinning, and so are the bodies. McDonough dead center of the canvas. Into the cover, new champion. No, J.D. McDonough still in this match. Man, I thought that was it. The rally here in Humphrey Coliseum. Wesley off the Hurricane Rana. McDonough once again off the reversal. Nothing pretty about that. Just an elbow right to the face. Trying to break Wesley. Crush his spirit. And again, reliant is J.D. McDonough. You hate to say it, but McDonough, a smart strategy being implored anytime his backup is, is against the wall in this matchup. Again, Wesley, a never say die attitude is what he is bringing to the fight here tonight. Down goes the champion once more. Wesley has got to try to capitalize. The rascal coming off the top of the corkscrew. That is going to do it. How the hell did J.D. McDonough survive that? One of Wesley's best maneuvers, that top rope corkscrew, crushing the soul of J.D. McDonough. Unfortunately, not enough off the lateral press, but now the explorer in the corner, and you gotta give credit to the challenger, not letting J.D. McDonough's survival kill his confidence. Lee trying to keep his foot on the gas pedal. They're trying to stack some more offense. It is well documented the obsession that J.D. McDonough had with obtaining that Cruiserweight Championship. He has got to bring that obsession to retaining the title here tonight. And so far, so good. But the challenger has not come all this way to see his hopes of becoming the champion and his hopes of gaining retribution go up in smoke. Once again, J.D. McDonough relying on the Tornado DDT. And just like that, within a snap of the fingers, McDonough is back in control. Oh no, look at this, J.D. McDonough reaching deep down in the bag of tricks, mixing up the arsenal, a submission hold that he's got Wesley all kinds of tied up in. 
The challenger may be in a little bit of trouble here, trying to get McDonough off of him. May be able to create some separation, but does he have enough to get back in control? That is the question that is at hand. McDonough keeping the offense on his side. These two men entering some deep waters in this Cruiserweight Championship main event. Some deep waters, if you will. Now McDonough with another Spanish fly. I'll tell you what, these two men are unloading the arsenals tonight. And now Lee rolling to the outside. For the first time in this matchup, looks like he may have nothing left in the tank as McDonough shot out like a cannon off the Tope Suicida. Wesley is looking dazed, he is looking confused, and he's looking like a beaten, broken rascal at ringside. And J.D. McDonough is becoming that Irish devil once again before our very eyes, looking to pick the bones of Wesley and maybe looking to finish this matchup at ringside and finish this saga with Wesley where it started three months ago. Referees at a count of six. McDonough could be looking to retain his title via count out here tonight. Wesley starting to get to his feet. J.D. McDonough tried to go after him. Lee caught him momentarily. Gave Wesley too much time to recover. Dare I say a misstep by the Cruiserweight Champion. Back inside the ring we go. Off the top rope. Nobody to be found. Lee set to the corner once again by the Irish Ace who pins Lee up into the ropes. Wesley had a moment there, but right away J.D. McDonough putting out his fire. I'll tell you what, this is a physical and downright exciting Cruiserweight Championship main event. Live here on Friday Night SmackDown, 24 hours before our trip to New Orleans for the King of the Ring event. Another close call that time as McDonough off the springboard moonsault, unable to put Wesley away. Wesley certainly not looking like he's got anything left in the tank. And if he does, McDonough is looking to drain his energy once and for all. McDonough's just stacking the offense right now. Just incapacitating Wesley before our very eyes. Hoisting Lee up on his shoulders. Devil inside! And he could be going for the cover, but I don't know if J.D. McDonough is satisfied just yet. Oh no, what has J.D. McDonough got in mind now? McDonough is now looking to prove a point, to make a statement. This is a message to the rest of the SmackDown locker room. You may not like J.D. McDonough, but nobody can deny his brutal beatings that he dishes out between the ropes. All the life has been taken out of Wesley over the last few minutes as J.D. McDonough may as well just be enjoying this beatdown. I hate to say it, but McDonough may be on course to coast to victory after surviving everything that Wesley had to throw at him tonight. This is just becoming a little much. After everything we saw Wesley go through, J.D. McDonough putting him on the shelf. An exciting, shocking return last month on SmackDown. Becoming a worthy challenger over the last month. Wait a minute here, Wesley may have something left in the tank, creating a little separation that time. At least momentarily. Wesley slow moving, but throwing anything he's got, dropping the hammer on the champion. Does Wesley have a little bit left in the tank? We're gonna find out right here, right now. Picking J.D. McDonough up into the ropes. Oh, wait a minute here, headbutt, Saido! Damn! J.D. McDonough retains the title. A valiant effort by Wesley, but a resilient effort by the Iris Ace 
JD McDonough as he retains the Cruiserweight Championship in the main event on SmackDown. We look towards tomorrow night in New Orleans, Louisiana, where we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the King of 